All right, you're live. All right. We're back again, SSP, and uh, the seatbelts are blown on this car. We're going to replace them. But these are, this car has 17,000 miles, and these can't, these belts are so nicely, freshly new. Um, I'm going to keep the old belts. We're just going to replace the packs on them because I don't want to, I really don't want to get rid of these guys. These guys are nice. So, um, there's one, this cover right here needs to come out because it's snapped into here. Get a clip remover you can put it underneath here and just, and just pop it. It's in there pretty tough too, so you usually get your hands in there and Pulled this seal out of the way. It's always in the way. This guy needs to, be, needs to pop out. It's a pain in the butt though sometimes. I pulled this guy out of the way. Now, this guy just very simple. I'll show you guys. Let me pull it off. I'll show you guys how it's on there. There's two in the bottom. And there's two in the in the front. So check this out. So yeah, one, two, three, four. These four clips hold it. Hold this puppy in. So just you can get these four. Just push, pull on it. It'll come out. These guys right here snap on the. Right here to these guys. So be uh make sure you just pull these edges, they'll pop right out. So we require number 10 for this right here and a 14 for that. I'm gonna pull this out, repack uh, not repack it, but swap out the the pack on it. Ten, fourteen, right here. This thing is loose. Now don't destroy this guy. Take a little pick. Get underneath it. And just pull the little yellow thing up. And just grab it and it will pull out. So the belt's new on this car. The car's got low miles. Here's a new one, same color, just the, the shades a little just just dirty. And the customer requested to keep you know everything clean in the car, so we're gonna do our best to keep everything clean in the car. Now, if you, uh, I'm, for all you guys that are a little more expert in how to do all this stuff, I'm gonna show you guys how to take this belt out and wind it in the other one. The pack, this pack is blown, but the belt's good. That that pack is good. You could skip this step and just put this puppy in, you know, bolt it up and take this 14 out and the 14 down there and just swap this thing in. But for you guys that are a little bit more advanced on how to, how to do this. Follow me on this. You don't need to do this part. This is just because I want to keep the belt because this belt's nice and shiny. I can, ah, oh, it feels so good. <laughs> so I'm gonna destroy this thing. You can destroy it however you want. Um, usually it's got these tabs. You pop these tabs out and this guy comes out. This guy comes out. I'll leave this on there because you're going to need it. Um, get that guy out. Unscrew these three screws. One. They're pretty pretty easy once you unscrew all that see this guy it's just it's out you don't need it look at that belt comes out nice and easy it's got a little uh, this guy right here take a little pick and just just pick into the cloth and just pull on it Voila, it just popped out. It's got a pin inside. 
holds it from, you know. If you pull that pin out, you could literally just slide the belt out of its home. Now I'm leaving it like this because I don't want to twist to unwind the, the, the guy. So I'm going to leave this the way it is right now. Okay, here's the belt, okay, with the good pack in it. Just just a, a dirty belt. So you can do this two ways. If you got a black one and you want to go back to tan, just the one where you can find the wrecking yards, the one we had to sell, you know, this is the tricky part. This belt's going to be locked up unless you get it kind of like positioned exactly the way this thing's positioned in there for it to unlock itself. You see right now? It's, it's pulling, but if I go like this, it's going to lock up, so as I pull it, see how the cleanness of the, of the belt is? It looks just like the one on the car, but we need to pull this out. And you got to hold it because now it's got all this tension. I stick my hand in here, and I... And I and I gotta hold it somehow, and I gotta pull this guy out without without letting this thing go, because now it's got all the it's all wound up. This guy, if I let it go, it's gonna want to suck the belt back inside. So we push this guy out. Okay, see this guy? It's spring loaded. It's gonna want to go. So, I pull the belt out. See how it's just coming out. And this is the one we're pulling off the, 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 the blow pack that's good. So, I'm pulling it out this way. This belt we don't need. We're gonna keep the original one on the car. Now this one, see I put it right next to it. And the way it comes out like this is exactly where I'm going back in here. It's the reason why I left it on there so I know how to, to, which way it goes in. This now is worthless to everybody. This guy, when you put it in, it's got the little slot right here. You know, you can flatten this guy out a little bit. Just kind of, make sure you put it in evenly. Push down and just kind of keep your hand in the bottom so you don't unwind this thing because it's on tension. And just kind of just, ah, oh, look at that. Sneak it in and If you can get around to holding it, so you don't unwind this puppy. If you unwind it, you're pretty much screwed. Where's my pick? So the goal is to get this thing back out. Do it with two people sometimes, it's a little easier. But this pin is to go back in here. And then back into the slot right here and then you can you can let it go and kept its original belt it is functional perfectly fine very simple and then just go ahead and mount it back up realistically just put the 14 back in make sure you hand tight a little bit before you go and jam it in because it, it's got a lock nut on the other side. And then move these guys out of the way. There's a 10 right here. I usually like to put both those in so it's loose. And then go ahead and tighten it. Don't forget to plug this yellow th yellow wire in. Um, make sure you pull the clip, the yellow clip back. So when you slide this in, make sure that yellow clip goes in. You can pull on it, wiggle it, make sure it's snug, and uh, fully functional seatbelt. So now, since we got that back in there, we're gonna go ahead and put this back in there. These little green things right here. There's four of them, one here, one here, one here, one here. Make sure they go right here. If you don't put them, just put it between the belt. 
this way and you can you can kind of see the bottoms going in it's very self-explanatory it, it can't go it can't go any other way so you pop the bot bottom in it just it'll clip in on its own it's it's so simple that there is no other way for it to go in put these rubbers back And uh, we'll clip that back together. And the same thing with these guys. Just put all this back together. And put this clip back where you got it. Just That's it fully functional seatbelt. Um, we're going to do the other side as well. So if you guys want to switch sides, um, we'll go ahead and replace the other side seatbelt. Um, pretty much the same exact thing, if not the exact same thing. So if you were missing something that angled from here, check out the other side video. Should be pretty much the same exact thing. So let's roll to the other side. 